Generally, one is not permitted to directly walk onto and access the territory of the Ukrainian Border Guard Detachment Headquarter. But today an exception was made for kids. School children came to first-hand experience how the people defending them work and live. The first one to greet the young guests is the Labrador Ada and her partner, her soldier dog handler. Ada is an experienced soldier herself and specializes in tracing weapons. She found cartridges. At the entry exit checkpoints in Hnutove, she found explosives and hunting ammo. Kids sporting green barrets are carefully listening to the soldiers. Not only are they told about the interesting aspects of serving in the border guard service, but they are also allowed to try on all the military accessories. Among the things they carried or tried on were helmets, armored vests, weapons, knights and thermal vision goggles. The kids were also allowed to explore armored personal carriers. They are defending Ukraine so we are able to live in peace. They are keeping all the children and all of Ukraine safe. The girls are also very interested in the weaponry and would like to drive a Humvee. The girls look up to Julia, a comms soldier with admiration. She explains to them in detail how the BRDM-2 amphibious armored patrol car works. I followed in the footsteps of my parents. I enlisted one and a half years ago, just after I finished school and applied to university for part-time classes. I understood that I cannot sit quietly when Ukraine faces this situation. I want to be useful to my country. That is why I joined the army. Six-year-old Victoria Teterkina decided to express to her mom, who is serving in the Donetsk Border Guard Detachment, the following words. Mommy, thank you for defending me in all of Ukraine. Thank you, sweetie. Come here. As a small memento, the kids signed the Ukrainian flag with words of gratitude, addressing those brave women and men who are defending Ukraine. Reported by Nadezhda Suhukova for UATV.